Well, Brendan, I said to the other lads at the outset, this is the time of the year every player wants to be building up to a big game and uh, I'm sure you're no different. Yeah, um, obviously at the start of the year, that's where you want to be, um, ready for getting ready for an All-Ireland final. Uh, I suppose we took a, a longer route than, than maybe what you had hoped for, but um, it's worked out. We're still in the same position that we were, we were wanting to get to. Um, it's the second year to take that that senior crew, perhaps more games because of replays, etc. This year, how do you find that? Or, or you know, Jeremy, I think mentioned that you nearly don't think about the turnaround time because you don't have time to. In mm -hmm. some regards, you just have to get back in and back at the next game. Yeah, I suppose um, a lot of times there you might have only it might be week on week. So as as Jeremy was saying you don't have much time to think about it. So it's just about getting your body right and getting ready for the next team. So um, we've three weeks now to prepare for the all Ireland. It's probably the, one of the most we've had since the, start the, since the start of the year. But look, we'll make the most of our three weeks and we'll prepare as best we can. Um, yeah, I, I know Keith Higgins even passed a bit of a wry smile when it was put to him in the interview on RT after the last game that they had three weeks um, to prepare because uh, it, it is probably the longest period bar maybe in between the Sligo and Galway games. Mm, yeah, I think that was the last time we had we had three weeks. So yeah, it's going to it's gonna help us. Um, it'll give us a little bit more time to do a little bit more homework on our opposition, uh, get the bodies right because I'm sure there's a few sore bodies from two real tough games against Kerry. So um, it'll give us a chance to get that and to get to, to iron out some issues maybe we've been we've been getting throughout the year. Um, you're enjoying another great season of it um, and have come up against some tough, tough opponents in the championship so far this year. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's, there's nothing ever, there's nothing ever easy. Um, but I suppose we're well, we're all well prepared coming into these games. I mean, we're out training week on week. You're marking the likes of Andy Moore and, and Killian and these lads. So you're you're well fit for, for any other opposition that comes up against you. So um we're well prepared and I'm sure over the next three weeks we'll be we'll be training hard, marking each other hard and have each other ready for, for battle again. We'd love to see the battle between yourself and Andy Morden in training. I'd say that's an interesting one. Who comes off the better of that? Uh, it's usually me, <laughs> but Andy would probably say different. <laughs> we'll have to get him on that one. Um, what about the, the replay um, against Kerry? Um, obviously another tough game, but the, the margin of victory, you know, a little more breathing room, the five points uh, margin. Um, it must have been pleasing for you. I know that there'll probably be things you want to work on, but pleasing to get over that obstacle in that manner. Yeah, obviously. Um, I suppose you always want to try and win the first day out. Um, it didn't happen for us. We, we were lucky enough maybe to get a to get a replay. Um, but we just really knuckled down that week and kind of tried to iron out any issues that we had from the previous week. Um, and we we're putting a, I thought a, a fairly good shift. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but I think overall we put in a good shift. The lads up front tackled really hard. The 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 work the work rate throughout the team was pretty good. So. And then again, I suppose it was nice to to get over the the thing of beating Kerry. I suppose we hadn't beat Kerry in championship in, in a long time, so it was nice to actually finally do that. And it was look, it was a brilliant feeling to be back in an All Ireland final. Yeah, and then the opposition, familiar uh, Dublin again. Um, they put in some shift against Tyrone on Sunday, um, and a lot of people, I think, you know, and I'm talking about the outside experts or critics, looked at Mayo Saturday, you know, lauded uh, Mayo's performance, and then looked at Dublin Sunday and thought, ah. Dublin you know it's Dublin again um, but th they were impressive yeah they look very impressive like look at Dublin after winning two All-Irelands on the trot they're going for three in a row so they're, they're, they're a serious outfit they have a lot of strength and depth but we know that we can we can pin them to their collar like you know so we know that we can we can go toe to toe with them so um Look, we're going to believe that we can do it. You, you can't go in thinking that you're you're going to lose it or you've lost before the the ball is even thrown in. So yeah, we're we're going to prepare as hard as we can and we're going to give it as best a shot as we can and hopefully come out the right side of it. Um, in terms of of battling for places, that's one thing that there's a lot being made of this year. Literally, all of the players in the squad could be used at any time, and and that's very apparent. So it obviously adds more bite to you know your training the the games that you're playing and and whatever else you might be doing in training there's probably a big battle on for places yeah it's, it's hugely competitive like you can see there's there's lads coming into the panel or lads coming on you see the likes of Conor Loftus and Danny Kirby Stephen Cohen these lads coming on it just shows like we, we do have good strength and depth within the panel um but yeah in training you're you know you're you're preparing each other as best you can for for the opposition so and then again everybody is looking for to get that jersey everybody wants to be involved in the day and try and help us get over the line